E Maths Class, Fatima Convent High School. Myself, Dipali. Introduction to Trigonometry, Chapter Eight. In this session, we are going to do Exercise Eight Point Two. This exercise is based on the special trigonometric ratios and their values given in this table. For that, you will have to memorize. these values the first question is sin 60 into cos 30 plus sin 30 into cos 60 let us solve it exercise 8.2 number 1 it is sin 60 into cos 30 plus sin 30 into cos 60 replacing the values we get sin 60 is root 3 by 2 and cos 30 is also root 3 by 2 and sin 30 is 1 by 2 and cos 60 is 1 by 2 Solving this, we get three by four plus one by four is equal to three plus one upon four is equal to four upon four is equal to one. Question number two: two ten square forty five degrees plus cos square thirty degrees minus sine square sixty degrees. replacing the values we get 2 into 1 square plus root 3 upon 2 whole square minus root 3 upon 2 whole square so when you solve this you get 2 plus 3 upon 4 minus 3 upon 4 is equal to 8 plus 3 minus 3 upon 4 is equal to 8 upon 4 is equal to 2 Let us do the third one. Cos forty-five degrees upon sec thirty degrees plus cosec thirty is equal. Now, cos forty-five is one by two, and sec thirty is two by root three plus cosec thirty is two. When you solve this, you get one upon root two upon Two plus two root three upon root three by LCM. So when you solve this further, you get root three upon root two. Two plus two root three is equal to root three upon two root two plus two root six. If you solve this further, you get root three upon Two root two plus two root six. Applying rationalization of shirts to this part of the sum, we get multiplying and dividing by two root two minus two root six and two root two by two root six. So we get root three into two root two. Minus two root six upon two root two whole square minus two root six whole square. So solving this further, we get two root six minus two root eighteen upon minus sixteen. So you get two root six minus six root two. Upon minus sixteen is equal to two into root six minus three root two upon minus sixteen. Simplifying this, we get three root two minus root six by eight. This is our final answer for question number three. Now number four. Sine thirty. Plus ten forty five minus cosec sixty 
अपॉन सेक थर्टी प्लस कॉस सिक्सटी प्लस कॉट फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज सो रिप्लेसिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ ईच रेशियो वी गेट टू वन अपॉन टू प्लस वन माइनस टू अपॉन रूट थ्री होल अपॉन टू अपॉन रूट थ्री प्लस वन अपॉन टू प्लस वन सॉल्विंग दिस वी गेट रूट थ्री प्लस टू रूट थ्री माइनस फोर अपॉन टू रूट थ्री होल अपॉन फोर प्लस रूट थ्री प्लस टू रूट थ्री अपॉन टू रूट थ्री सो यू गेट रूट थ्री प्लस टू रूट थ्री माइनस फोर अपॉन फोर प्लस रूट थ्री प्लस टू रूट थ्री इज इक्वल टू थ्री रूट थ्री माइनस फोर अपॉन फोर प्लस थ्री रूट थ्री अप्लाइंग रैशनलाइजेशन अगेन वी गेट फोर माइनस थ्री रूट थ्री अपॉन फोर माइनस थ्री रूट थ्री सो सॉल्विंग दिस फर्दर वी गेट ट्वेल्व रूट थ्री माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन माइनस सिक्सटीन प्लस ट्वेल्व रूट थ्री अपॉन माइनस इलेवन विच इज ट्वेंटी फोर रूट थ्री माइनस फोर्टी थ्री अपॉन माइनस इलेवन सॉल्विंग दिस वी गेट फोर्टी थ्री माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर रूट थ्री अपॉन इलेवन दैट इज आर आंसर फॉर नंबर फोर same way you will be able to do question number 5 which would be your homework now let us go to main question number 2 in this you have first one 210 30 upon 1 plus 10 square 30 Replacing the values two into one upon root three upon one plus one upon root three whole square, which you get as two upon root three whole upon one upon one plus one upon three applying shards, we get two upon root three upon Three plus one upon root one upon three, which is equal to two upon root three into three by four, it which is three upon two root three into root three upon root three. So we get this equal to three root three upon two into three is root three upon two. Now, which value of theta for sine theta is Root three by two. This is equal to sine sixty. So, option A is your correct answer. Now, question number two, number two. One minus ten square forty-five upon one plus ten square forty-five. Is equal to one minus one whole square upon one plus one whole square. Is equal to one minus one upon one plus one is equal to zero. Now, third one. Sine two a is equal to two sine a. For a is equal to zero degrees. Now, if we take LHS, it becomes sine two into zero. Which is equal to sine zero, and RHS is two into sine zero, which is equal to two into zero. That is also zero, and this also is zero. So we get both the values as LHS equal to. RHS. Hence, our required 
question is proved now let us do the fourth one to 1030 degrees upon 1 minus 10 square 30 that is to 1 upon root 3 whole upon 1 minus 1 upon root 3 whole square that is 2 upon root 3 minus whole upon 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon 3 which is equal to 2 upon root 3 3 minus 1 upon 3 which is 2 upon root 3 into 3 upon 2 which is equal to 3 upon root 3 into root 3 upon root 3 so we get 3 root 3 upon 3 which is root 3 now which value of 10 theta is root 3 that is 60 degrees so answer c is the correct option that was your question number 2 all the four sums now we have question number 3 in question number 3 the question is 10 a plus b is equal to root 3 and 10 a minus b is equal to 1 upon root 3 so here condition given to us is 0 less than a plus b less than or equal to 90 degrees and a is greater than b we have to find a is equal to what and b is equal to what now we know 10 a plus b is equal to root 3 is equal to 10 60 means our theta is equal to 60 therefore a plus b is equal to 60 that is our first equation similarly 10 a minus b is equal to 1 upon root 3 is equal to 10 30 therefore a minus b is equal to 30 comparing the values of theta given that is our equation 2 solving equation 1 and 2 by elimination method and adding both the equations we get two a is equal to ninety. Therefore, a is equal to forty five degrees. Therefore, b is equal to fifteen degrees. This is our required answer. Now let us do the fourth sum. Question four. In that first one is true or false. We have to prove sine a plus b is equal to sine a plus sine b, which is a false answer. Why? Now suppose. you take a is equal to 60 and b is equal to 30 then we have here sin 60 plus 30 which is sin 90 which is equal to 1 and here it will be sin 60 plus sin 30 which is 1 root 3 upon 2 plus 1 by 2 that is root 3 plus 1 upon 2 so lhs is not equal to rhs hence it is a false statements number 2 we have to say that the value of sin theta decreases as theta decreases so sin 0 is 0 degrees sin 30 is 1 by 2 and as we go to sin 45 is 1 by root 2 sin 
60 is equal to root 3 by 2 and sine 90 is 1. Here the value of theta increases value of sine theta increases as theta increases hence false statement now we have number 4 number 3 same way it is value of cos theta increases as theta increases now here cos 0 is 1 cos 30 is root 3 upon 2 which is 0 0.87 cos 45 is 1 upon root 2 cos 60 is equal to 1 upon 2 and cos 90 is equal to 0 here if you try to observe as theta increases value decreases therefore again false statement here there is a change you can write it true here as the question given to you in that question is the value of sine increases as theta increases then it is increasing as theta is increasing so make a change over here if it was given the statement as sine theta decreases as theta decreases then it was a false statement now third one is false here theta increases with value decreases so you can say cos theta decreases as theta increases now fourth statement is sin 30 we have to prove sin theta is equal to cos theta for all values of theta that is the question now we take sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 and cos 30 is root 3 by 2 now sin 30 is not equal to cos 30 therefore false statement now fifth one you have to prove that cot A is not defined for A is equal to 0 degrees then cot 0 is equal to cos 0 upon sin 0 which is equal to 1 upon 0 which is not defined Hence, it is a true statement. With this, we have completed this exercise. We completed example 1, sub question 1, 2, 3, 4, and fifth one is your homework. Then example 2 we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 sums. Then example 3 and example 4 are true or false as we have solved. Next we will be understanding about the trigonometric ratios and complementary angles. Thank you for now.